Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting Outrageous Toy Review. Today we have one of the new Warcraft 2 packs from the Warcraft movie by Legendary Pictures. On the left side of this 2 pack, we have Duratan, Chieftain of the Frostwolves, and one of the main characters in the new movie. He comes with an axe accessory, and he also comes with a friend, an Alliance soldier. Looks like there's been budget cuts at the Alliance Commissary because there are no weapons for this guy. No shield, no sword, but he'll get by. I'm not worried. Let's take a look at the back of the package. Over here, we have a picture of the Alliance soldier with the crest of the Alliance. We have a picture of Doratan. We have the other figures that are available in the line. And that's about it. Let's get ready to open this guy up, take a look inside. I, I just wanted to take an aside since we've been reviewing these Warcraft 2 packs. This is for a movie called Warcraft. If you go to the Warcraft timeline to the first time that the orcs and humans see each other, you find that there's no such thing as the Alliance. There's really no such thing as the Horde. The Alliance and the Horde were like the super groups that came out of the escalation of the conflict. So I think that this shouldn't say Alliance Soldier here at this point. It should probably say Human Soldier, Soldier of Hu Lordaeron, Soldier of the Kingdom of Men, something like that. Because this is kind of like a, an anachronism in the Warcraft timeline at this point. Similarly, Doratan, if he's already crossed over the Dark Portal, and it, the orcs have already fallen from grace and made their pact with the Burning Legion to drink the blood of Manoroth and just embrace warlock magic and such. This guy should either be dead or green. So something's a little weird with their history. I think Legendary Pictures is doing some revisionist Warcraft history. We're gonna have to watch the movie to find out. But I just wanted to mention that as we open these things. So we've got Doratan and the Alliance Soldier out of the package. Taking a look at the Alliance Soldier, he's got two main colors. He's got the royal blue of Lordaeron and the uh, grayish silver color of his armor. The one really Warcraft thing about this character is the helmet. So it's cool to see the helmet kind of looking the same as the art style of the series. I also like the skirt of the armor. That looks pretty cool. He's got three points of articulation. Um, he twists at the waist like this, and then his arms also move. So that's the Alliance Soldier. It's really more of an army builder figure. Looking on the, the left is, is Doratan, and Doratan, well, on you, my left, your right, is Doratan. And he has an axe accessory. It looks a lot like the Axe of the Frost Wolves from um, the current World of Warcraft expansion, which is kind of cool that it has some of the design cues. I do have to say that that axe does have red on it on the sides, so that's something to think about. He's got really cool detail. He's got these uh, molded on dreadlocks here, which is pretty neat. He's got a fist that has some like bone protruding from it. And he's got just really cool detail down here and bones and things like that. Um, overall, he has less articulation than the Alliance Soldier because only his arms move. But he does have the accessories, so that's great. Also, like the other figures in this minifigure line, they both have bases. However, they could both stand fine without them, which is pretty cool. I think in this line, I probably would have had, rather had less bases, more swords and shields. Prepare thyself for battle! I made my very own shield. What? Figure bases? I never thought that would happen. No! These Warcraft 2 pack figures are simple figures but we're having lots of fun. Um, thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Earth, Wind, and Fire!
Heed my call! <laughs> <laughs>